Welcome to the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast with Mike Kincaid and Jake Goebel. Join them as they experience specialty coffee and document their journey. These friends explore roasts and roasting methods, brewing equipment and techniques, and review the cafes they visit along the way. Thanks, Brioni, and thank you for joining us for episode 97 of the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast, where Mike and I talk about the hand ground hand grinder, the Frismo by Fellow, and Sudden Coffee. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Believe me about it. I have to reframe every time I come. So that's one of the problems of having, you know, going back and forth, different places, different places. We are back in the studio. I don't know how the sound is going to sound. I don't know how, I don't know how this is going to sound, but... Here we are trying. Here Sounds we are good. ignoring each other to play on our phones. No, I'm getting nothing. Hello. Up. I'm ready to rock. You have reached the Orange Cactus. Wait a minute. You have stumbled across the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast. I am Jake Goble. The other voice that you heard is the Mike Kincaid. We are drinking the King Cup Cold Brew twice filtered with Winter Smith's Ice. The King Cup is our own roast. Um, it is Mikey's roast. It is an Ethiopian single origin. It is a category that we highly recommend without cream and sugar. If you like drinking coffee without cream and sugar, we recommend the King Cup for you. If you like some of those fruity notes, flavor notes, tones, citrus, citrus, it is very, very good. I especially like it on the cold brew. This is a 13 to 1 ratio, not watered down. On the, uh, the Hario cold brew. On the Hario cold brew bottle, and then I run it through the... Bonavita. Ooh, you double filter it? I, I double filter it. I double Stepping filter it. Stepping up your cold brew. I tw- no, I've always have. I always, oh, it's always, always been twice filtered. Always, always, twice, always. Always. Like forever. Forever. Oh. Because I, I mean, I haven't made that much cold brew. And this, these are the Wintersmith's cubes. And they're, I'm still very inconsistent in making the clear cubes. That's all I, that's all I got to say. That's all I got. Is that, is that who I think it is? Yeah, Nixon's calling me. Is that our girl? No, it's... it's oh, somebody else. It's a Nixon, spam, Nevada. spam call. Okay. All right. Perfect. Moving right along. Welcome. This is Welcome. A, a a podcast about coffee. We're going to talk about great coffee at home, great coffee in cafes, great coffee just about anywhere uh, that you can find great coffee, track down great coffee, buy great coffee, make great coffee, drink great coffee, and have an exceptional coffee experience. That's what That's what we're about. That's what we're about. That's it. That's it. That's it. And we talk and we give you a look behind the scenes for our business because uh, we are actually trying to sell coffee. Not really very uh, hard right now. I mean, we don't put a whole lot of effort into selling coffee at the moment, but we will. We will in January. We, we are going will. to, we're going to redesign Jake's the website. We, we are going to have t shirts and hats and coffee and everything available. It is going to be fantastic. Until then, we're just going to sit here, drink coffee, and talk about grinders. Yes. And the Prisma. I think this is going to be a um, kind of a product version. Up, wait, version? Yeah. Product well, focused edition. episode. Yeah. Edition. Yeah. But one in particular that we're going to highlight, but we got some others we need to talk about. Yeah. Whether it's updates or yeah. what's a lot, coming. A lot. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about. Should we just kick it off? Start with number one, hand ground. Hand ground. So as... You who have been listening already know. <laughs> well, what? I danced through that, <laughs> that one. That was great. That I was so good. I that didn't want so to assume. Good. I wanted to say, as you already know, but then it, my mind's like, well, maybe there's people that have never listened before. That's why I would say, those of you who've been listening, you know, know the story about the hand ground. I already started the sentence, though, For, <laughs> before oh. that thought hit me. So I had to choose I, my words to come back around in a circle. I see. Well, yeah, perfect. You nailed it. I you nailed it, it. I made it work until you nailed started it. giggling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Mikey scammed hand ground out of a grinder. <laughs> no, you didn't scam him. No. I just said, hey, I think you have a cool product. It might be viable. It might be something that we could recommend. It might be something that we want to include in like one of our welcome kits or yeah, starter kits. Gift kit, yeah. You know, because we're always looking grind consistency and, and and the grind itself is so important when making a great cup of coffee. And to do that Agreed. You need a good set of burrs, and you need a good way to turn those burrs. And yeah. doing that with an electric motor um, on something decent can be yeah. quite expensive. It can, but you really have, and I don't want to get too far away from the hand ground here, but Mike really has the ultimate prosumer setup at home. 
He has the Baratza Encore, right? Or is it the it's no, the Encore? It's an encore. It's the their, Baratza yeah, Encore, level. which yeah. is the entry level. Ele- it it really 50. is for many baristas. This is the only one at home that they would buy. They would not go any cheaper. Does it matter if Krupps or Cuisinart or uh, Bodum, yeah. whoever makes a cheaper one? KitchenAid. The, the yeah, the the Baratza Encore is as low as they will go. And then if you add about a hundred dollars to it or you double the money, you can get a, a, a pretty much a hand grinder that's as good a grinder as you're going to find in the Lido. Yeah. It's one of the top ones. So those are the two that you have at home, but that hasn't stopped us from continuing to try and find and explore different grinders. Absolutely. One of the reasons why I got the Bodum was Bodum. to have something different, you know, yeah. try a different grinder. And mm-hmm. so we've got, Man, we've got lots of grinders. We've got the Hario Ceramic Mill, the little hand grinder. Mm-hmm. We've got the a, steel, the Quisential. We've got a steel one that little, you, that your your little twenty dollar one, yeah. yeah. And we have this hand ground yes. that you came across. What struck you initially, I think, was how beautiful it is, wasn't it? You said that looks cool. Yeah, I thought the design, the aesthetics of it was were are great. Yeah. Um, there's different, they have different ones. This one is the, um, silver or steel. I forget. And Mike is talking like you can see it for those of you who are listening and not watching. Uh, you can watch, of course, the, the podcast on YouTube, but he is pointing to a Nickel. nickel finish hand grinder. This hand ground has a kind of glass jar on the bottom, a silver, two silver rings or nickel rings in the middle, and then a larger cylinder that I think is also glass or plastic. One of the two. Plastic. And then there Hard is plastic. kind of a nickel finished silver top that, that goes on and then a handle off on the side, not on the top where mm-hmm. many hand grinders have their handle. It's down off on the side, it is but it's side. a, it is a very, very Good looking grinder. It is very pleasing on the So eye. this nickel right now on their site runs ninety nine bucks. If you want to go black or white, you can go you can get in a little cheaper. Yeah. And I think it's yeah, seventy nine. Seventy nine. So it's kind of where they start. Seventy nine. You may or may not catch one on sale somewhere. Um, so it's not cheap. 80 is the cheapest you can get it. You got there's a hundred dollar option. That's the one we have. But Mike reached out to Handground said, Hey, this is a this looks great. I would love to try it. We would love to review it, spend some time with it, and give you, you know, give you our fair, honest review on our site. And absolutely, they said, "Sure, that sounds great. We'd love to send no you one." No question beyond then what? This is wonderful. Your address. Yeah, my words are not coming. Yeah, that was the only question. I said, "We love it." What's, What's your, your address? address? Yeah, where can we send it? They and didn't like, say. You know, there's no pressure for them to try and like, or, or for us to, they want to send say it. what it is. You know, like over no contract signed, yeah, no yeah, no waiver, no uh, no yeah. waiver, no money, no, no agreement. They just so. said, "Hey, give us your honest feedback," and here you go, enjoy. Here and you go. to that we said, "Thank you," and Thank you. we've spent a couple weeks with it. It's been over a month. Yeah, we've been over a month. We wanted to give it adequate time. I know there's several of you that have asked us, "Hey, where's the follow up?" Uh, you're going to tell us what you think of it because we have a lot of people are interested. I think this price point appeals uh, to, to a many. lot of people. Um, our goal was 50 bucks. We thought yeah. if we can find a good grinder that we could stand behind for 50 bucks. That was our goal. Haven't found it yet. So this was kind of close. This was 80 bucks. Yeah. So the first thing um, that I just want to do is talk um, objectively about it. Here's what it has. Um, These are the stat sheets from the website. And pretty we'll throw, much. We'll throw links in the show notes. And some of the things that Jacob has already mentioned, yes, it's got, which is probably the biggest differentiary, diff, diff, the thing that's most different about it from other grinders <sighs> is the side handle as opposed to the top. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an, another one with that design. No, no, I haven't. There might be. I haven't seen it. Could be. Uh, it's got a wide base, more st- stability, holds 100 grams of coffee. Another cool thing, it's got these little notches. In case you don't have a scale or a spoon, each one, <laughs> well, tablespoons, uh, how people measure it when they don't have a scale. Yeah, I know. Make fun of the... Uh, For those of you who do not have spoons out there, we have lines. Well, the, the, the yes. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm saying. I love it. Take it however you want. I love it. 10 grams, I think they said, for each line. So you can kind of dump until you get... And that'll get you approximate, you know, the dose yeah. that you're shooting for. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, a thing that I probably was most drawn to was the adjustment for the grind setting, um, which is this little middle ring here. Ring, here. yeah. 
good solid clicks. Each click lets you know you found a home for a new number. Exactly. It's got 15 preset coarseness levels at 165 micron intervals. Um, so each one is is dialed in to kind of give you the same uh, degree of adjustment. Now, some coffee professionals do not like clicks. They like to have. They don't want. They want to be able to Stepless. go finer than 165. They want to be able to just yeah a little bit more, exactly. a little bit more, a little bit more. Personally, I like clicks because I clicks think it's just nice. easier. Clicks numbers. Clicks, when I know numbers, hey, I like three and a half, I like three. allows us to get on the same page with everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the things that we like. Like when you buy our coffee, we send you third wave water packets. The reason why we do that is you can go buy distilled water and you can taste it the same way that we taste it. And if you're using the same grinder that we're using, you dial it on the same setting, it's pretty much, it's the, it's the same thing. Just you're doing it over there and I'm doing it over here. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the things that we like. It gives us a baseline for communication. Exactly. Exactly. And so the other thing it's got, it's got a 40 millimeter uh, conical ceramic burr set. Well, that's mm -hmm. a good size. I think by comparison, the Lido is 45, 48. I'm skipping. I know it's, I think it's 45. So a little bit smaller. Um, and then it, the other thing they claim that's, yeah, it's an improvement. It's triple mounted the axle, which means that you're going to have less wobble. So as you're cranking it, um, it's going to keep that axle true, which then prevents gaps between, you know, on, on one side of the burr set or the other. And just get you a better grind. Yeah. More consistent grind. Uh huh. So the other, and then lastly, on the bottom, they have uh, this little sticky thing that uh -huh. you have to occasionally, um, you know, wipe down to just clean. But the idea to it is that it kind of sticks mm -hmm. to the table. You know, one hand goes on top, holds it in place, and the other hand uh, turns the handle, which then through the 90 degree um, gear mechanism sends the, uh, the shaft turning and turns the, uh, the burr set. And get you a grind. So, I spent some time with it. I gave it to you, Jake, so you could spend some time with it. I think maybe the way we can go yep. about this is I will just say what I liked, what I don't like, and who or who I don't recommend it for, and then you can say your piece. Is that okay? Would you like to talk at some point? Yeah. Yeah, I can talk. Okay, good. Me first. Um, I think the details to attention um, and the quality that I have experienced with this particular grinder. Now, I will say, I did just realize they sent us one of their newest versions that I think is now for sale. They changed um, something to do with how the burr is um, set inside of it. I, I don't know. I can't remember the exact details, but it changes. It, it's supposed to be better. It's supposed to be better. And so we got the newest version here. Um, and one way you can tell is, I guess, this part is flat. Which part? The uh, the bottom of the burr oh, okay. is flat. It's it, you can stand it up, but it also makes it easy to remove the burr set for cleaning. Um, and they also say that what this did, I think, the primary goal to the redesign was that it allowed them to calibrate the burrs and account for inconsistency in manufacturing of the burrs themselves. Nice. So it was an improvement all around. Yeah. Kudos. Yeah. Good job. So we've got the newest version. Just to throw that out there, which just came out, I think, about a month ago when we were sent this. We were actually given this before they announced that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I realized it after the fact because the announcement came and said, hey, here's a new one. It's got these features. And I looked. Ours had You're like, wow, well, we already have that. We already have what? that. So uh, extra special. Thank you, Hand Ground. Yes. Thank you. So I think the build quality is great. I have not experienced any issues with the 90 degree angle gear, the one that transfers, you know, uh, the horizontal to the vertical. It's been super easy to grind. Um, so easy that even my, my six-year-old was able to do it on, on a fairly fine setting, which in comparison to some of the other grinders, um, she could not crank because it's just too hard, yeah. especially when you're working with a real light roasted bean. Yeah, exactly. Um, I haven't found it to struggle at all. It, very easy to turn, um, easy to load, easy to turn, easy to access the grounds. Now, I will say the mouth of the... Um, I don't know what you want to call it. The 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 catcher, the ground you know, catcher, the you know. glass is a little wide. And if you want to pour this out into say like an arrow press, yeah. you, you have to either use the funnel mm -hmm. or a spoon if you have a spoon. Because yeah, right. No, but uh, we already said we don't have a spoon. That's why yeah. we have the lines. Because uh, you can't dump straight from this. I mean, you can if you're probably careful, but you probably make a little bit of a mess. So a little bit of a mess. Now, kind of like you did in my kitchen this morning. A little bit of oh, a mess. Yeah, beans everywhere, grounds okay. everywhere. Perfect. Water Perfect. Everywhere. Everything was everywhere. Yeah, that, that it was. So funny story with me. 
Um, in my experimentation, I was trying to do some timed sessions to see how long does it take me to grind 20 grams yeah. compared to some of the other hand grinds yeah. compared to an electric grinder. So I would set the timer and go, and I didn't want to stop. And one time what happened is I was going, and even with the sticky pad, I find it still wiggles a little bit. Yeah, you get a little bit of wiggle, and it's sticky. I wasn't paying attention. I just kept going, and I knew it was moving around. Yeah. And when I got done, I looked. I had wiggled it right off the pad. Yep, right the off pad the, the sticky pad. Stuck was, to my counter. It was on the counter. Did not stick to the bottom of the hand ground. And the hand ground was elsewhere. And the hand ground was right next to it. I'm like, oh. That's why it felt like it was getting harder. Nailed it. And the bottom of this glass thing has these little ridges. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's got these little, uh, you know. Little ridges in the glass and exactly. you left little indents in your counter. <laughs> I left a, a mark on my counter where I Sweet. wore it. And the missus was super stoked. She was. She's like, perfect. Just another reason to get a new counter. She loves it. <laughs> Do more damage. Yeah. So I think that was due to my me just being an idiot. I don't think that would be a normal problem anyone would experience. Normal people? Yeah. If you're just grinding, but I was Maybe. like, I was like, oh, come on, let's let's time this and, and keep. I it, found that keep as moving. much as we like to call ourselves idiots, the things that we do are someone else is going to do. Someone else is going to have a tr- trouble with. Well, we're not the only idiots. Yes. Yeah. But thinking about good. you, ghost. Thinking about you. <laughs> just teasing. Uh, so anyway, um, that's kind of where I stand with it. I really like the adjustment. I found. The grind consistency was fairly good. Not as good in the coarser settings as I would have hoped for. At the fine, yes. Um, which I think for any hand grinder, any grinder in general, the coarser settings are where it struggles a little bit more. A little more boulders out of it. Yeah. Um, my biggest um, con or negative with it is it takes a long time to grind. Yeah. It really, really does. And you know, you always want to compare things to comparable products, same price range and stuff. But that's just the biggest negative. When when you get this grinder, just know, even with the bigger burr set than some of the smaller hand grinders, for 30, 20 grams, um, you're going to be grinding a minute and a half, maybe even up to two minutes, depending on how fine you're going. And so if you're making two, three, four cups, um, that's going to add up. It's going to add up and it's going to take a little while. So... That's probably my biggest negative. I think it's a beautiful grinder. I think it would be perfect, personal opinion, if this was 50 bucks. I, I think it would um, be a lot more appealing. Also, even though I will admit, when you first start cranking on the side, um, it does feel nicer and more intuitive. After a while, because of that design, you really can't change um, to the other hand. Now, you can. You go backwards. Yeah. It, that just feels really unnatural. Um, and compared to the traditional, you know, over the top, um, I still prefer that. I, I, I do. I think when you can hold it and you can crank, that's not unnatural enough to say that this is, is hands down better. Um, but this is easier for someone like, you know, my wife who, who doesn't like using other grinders um, that I have. She would gladly use this, though. The time that it takes to grind would then deter her, and she would just want yeah. to get an electric blade grinder because that's kind of where she's at. So I think that is pretty much my assessment. I think it's a great grinder. I think it's pretty. You can definitely tell they put time, energy, and details in it. They're trying to improve it. Um, the company, as far as I can tell, stands behind their product, and um, it's one that I think would be a good grinder for many. Um, however, it's, it's not the end all. It's not the hand grinder for the masses. Um, so out of five, I'd probably give it about three and a half. Three and a half cacti yeah. out of five. I think it's solid. I think a few things can make it better. If they could figure out a way just to tear through beans a little faster, maybe the way it funnels into the burr set, maybe a slightly larger burr set. Um, and then somehow an option to make it reversible, you might have a perfect grinder. Um, but that's kind of where I stand with it. So, you know, what would be cool is if as we're rating things, like when you say I give it three and a half, you know, cacti, cactus, three and a half saguaros, you know, like on the screen would go one, bam, bam, with like the sound effects of like punching, like, and then on the third one, it goes, comes up and then like a samurai sword chops it in half. And then the top part of the saguaro slides off and you've got one, two, three and a half. That would be awesome. I'd gladly use that. Can you work on that? Nope. Sure can't. I don't know how to do animation. 
That would so be cool. Anyone knows how to do animation and wants to make that for us. Yeah. I can make cactuses pop up and I can yeah. I could do that. That's can no you problem. can you chop it with a samurai sword and make effects. it make it make it half of it fall off? No. I could add a samurai sound and make half of it kind Shoo. of Yeah, actually I could. There you go. But I'm not going to. Shoo. That would take Ching. that would take me probably ten hours Shoo. to do. Maybe like eight hours. And then it slides off. But then the next time maybe five slides hours. Slides off. Yeah, that would be cool, though. That would be I was cool. actually thinking along the same lines of creating some type of, yeah, some graphic or <laughs> video effect when we do a rating. <laughs> you can just keep that. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> so that's where we stand with the hand ground. Uh, I thought you wanted my review. No? That's where I stand. Well, I know. I asked it, and then you started talking about cactus and, okay, okay. and ninja so swords. So I what know. do I like about the hand grind? The yes. hand ground. <laughs> The hand grinder. <laughs> the hand grinder. It's beautiful. It is beautiful to look at. It looks nice in your kitchen. That's what I like about it. Sure does. The second thing that I like about it is the glass jar that the coffee goes into down below. It feels mm-hmm. heavy duty. Yeah. Good base. Yeah. That is probably all that I like about it. You like the clickety clicks. Oh, I like the clickety clicks. Yes. I like the clickety clicks and the numbers. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to use the lines because I'm going to measure everything. I'm going to have a scale. I don't. Oh, I do, and also I I do like how easy it is to grind. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. However, the motion on the side I find awkward. I don't like the fact that the handle's on the side. I like the handle on the top when yeah. I'm grinding. I like being able to switch back and forth, left and right. You know, get 12 reps on one side, 12 reps on the other, 20 on one, 20 on the yeah. other, five on one, five sure. on the yeah. other. I'm not the only one that does that. And this makes no, me, no. No, uh, you know, turn on one side. And it takes forever. It takes forever. It takes a while. And this one's 100 bucks. I can get my Bodum electric grinder for less than that. I think you can get a refurbished Encore yeah. for 100 bucks. So it's Straight just, from it's, it's a little pricey. And for the priciness, I don't feel like I get a whole lot, mm-hmm. you know? And then also when I'm trying to take uh, the, it, it's a little bit awkward to get it apart. Like the top sp- turns one way. It's not, not, not everything goes lefty, loosey, righty, tighty no. on it. So it spins opposite the top from the bottom. So to get the top off, to get the coffee and you got to go left, lefty, loosey, or something along the, mm-hmm. or, or righty, tighty, one of the two oh, the to, bottoms to get it off. The, and then the normal. bottom is you go to open it up. And I think it's righty, loosey, is that it? and lefty, tighty. Yeah. The top is. And opposite. if you, if you grab it kind of by the rings there, you can jerk the numbers out of place, which I've done. And I'm like, oh, great. What was my number at? What was my grind at? I don't remember. But I know that I messed it up just by opening it. So it's not, I mean, yeah, it could be a little more idiot proof, whatever. But when you when you have to open it up to adjust the the grind setting, I know that that's, it's not as cool um, and it is a little more challenging. But it keeps me from messing up the grind from batch to batch to batch to batch. Mm-hmm. So those are the things that I don't like about it. Um, I don't know. I just I was not inclined to use it very much. It's just I see it sitting there. I'm tired in the morning, and I want kind of get my coffee going. And I'm like, that's going to take for freaking Whoa. ever. Don't. And especially like because I'm going to do forty grams when yeah. I'm front because I'm cups. making for sure. for myself and the misses at the same time. And I'm like, nah, ain't happening. It ain't happening. Yeah. There's just other grinders that are that I'm going to turn to. You would be more inclined to an electric grinder. I'd but... be more inclined to electric grinder. And if I'm going super cheap, I'm just going to be happy with the 20 gr- steel thing, you know, 20 bucks for the steel thing that you have. Mm-hmm. I just, I mean, that's so, what to I'm going to take. So I'm, and it's big. I'm not going to take it to the office because it's big. It's nice. Yeah. And those, so there's good and bad. One of, like, because it looks beautiful sitting on your counter. It looks great. It does look good. It's, it's great... a big, Good looking grinder. But when you look to add it to your backpack to take it to work or something, it is a Not massive portable. It's a yeah. massive hunk of grinder that you gotta take with you. So Exactly. So those are the those are the pros and cons. But I guess if you're gonna enlist children primarily to do all your grind coffee grinding for you, it's probably the best. It'll allow them. It might take them a while, but I they physically I don't know can do if it. I can give it more than two two cactus. You're at two. 
two I think cacti, I'm at two, maybe three. Yeah, right around there. I guess. Yeah, three. I think um, I agree with you, Jake. I think that's a fair assessment. I, I would say if the burrs could just tear through the ground, if it was as fast as some of the other ones, yeah, that would greatly improve. Yeah, it, right. If you just knew, oh yeah, twenty five seconds, thirty seconds, but bam, I'll have thirty grams. Whatever. But it's going to be a couple minutes. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's going to be a couple setting. minutes. So. No. You you used the hand ground today. We shot a little video. We used the fellow Prismo. Um, you set it on a very fine setting, and you just were sitting there for a little while. And the fellow Prismo is a lid that goes on your AeroPress. Now, this lid has a very fine hole in the middle of it, and then there's an optional metal screen or filter that you optional. can put in there. Yeah, Optional, because you're supposed to use it, but... Reusable. Metal. Some guys forget about it and just say, oh, I'm going to... I'm g- I, want, I want grinds in my coffee, so I'm just going to use it without. There's guys like that that do that. Well, they would be... That was you like that still, did that. They're still ground in there. So, the, <laughs> probably because it, it's... He forgot the filter. So the, so the well, third we, one that he made, he forgot the filter. But the well, one that we did no. with the hand grind, hound ground... And that we filmed and put up on Facebook was great. You did a great yeah. job. Everything worked out just it fine. It did. It worked out well. And then the second one, I screwed up the water. Yep. Instead of 50 grams, you put in 30 grams. Yeah. Forgot so you gave me a super ristretto. I can't remember where we were. <laughs> I, I took a sip of the King Cup and I was totally gone. Oh, so the one with the hand ground was really good, right? You. Yeah. I mean, it, everything. It was the one I made for myself. That's Ground it up. Yeah, that's right. And then mine was <laughs> the an two, ultra ristretto. The two I made for and you, I botched. And the third completely. one, you tried to make it, and you forgot the filter inside the Prismo. Yeah. And you splurged coffee everywhere. Yeah, grounds were coming out the sides. The cup was full of them. Like, what is You didn't is even going put on? the lid on. You didn't even put the cap on properly. But the Prismo <laughs> is a replacement cap for your AeroPress. Fish, right? That guy right there. A filter is supposed to go in that. That's not fun. And Mike, whatever. Yeah, I sometimes the, doesn't use it. I forgot the metal filter. But it's a nice fellow micron. I don't know what the microns are on it. Primo. Prismo. There's oh, an S in there, bro. There's an S. So it, yeah, it doesn't say how fine the. But maybe it does somewhere. It says that you can make good espresso out of it, but then we didn't get any crema. At didn't all. Go fine enough. But I think if you go a little finer, you could get a little crema. Let Absolutely. What did it say? No, no drip seal. That ain't true. No drip seal. That ain't true. Well, oh, maybe when you use it as it's it, intended. Maybe when you use it only, with the metal filter. Only when you use it as Come instructed. Yeah. But if you can totally botch it and break the no drip seal. You can definitely break the seal. I think we can make better cups with it. We and get we coffee everywhere. Went for it. So it says it can do espresso style, full immersion, cold brew, hot slashed iced tea, Americanos, and much more. That would be interesting to see a cold pressed espresso with that. Like how long would you, if I was going to cold yeah, brew it. I don't know. If I was going to cold brew it and then force it out that tiny hole. How long would I sit how long would I make it sit? Well, I guess you could assemble the whole arrow press and put it in your fridge. Yeah. Just let it sit there. Let it sit there. You'd have to do, or let it sit at room temp for a few hours. Let it sit at room temp overnight, maybe overnight. Yeah. Put it in your backpack, go to work, and then pull it out. But don't, don't Great. touch that. No, no, don't touch that. It's cold brew. <laughs> what are you, are you going to? Oh, it's got, got no everywhere. Drip seal. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening. That wouldn't be good. No. So I don't know. It's it, we're, you, Yep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you got to play with it a little more. I, I think it's got promise. It's interesting. How do you, yeah. How do, what are the other options? Espresso? Full immersion. Full immersion. Meaning I think you can make a full immersion style yeah. cup of coffee. Yeah. Cold brew. And then it's got hot slashed iced tea. You can make tea with it. Uh-huh. And then Americanos, obviously, because that would be the espresso. Can you, can you give me a shot of espresso? And pull out the arrow press. Yeah. And <sighs> add a little hot water. There you go. And much more. Yeah. Much more. What's I wonder if you could do like a mobile coffee shop with it. Like all we have here is the arrow press. Yeah. Depending on what you order, that depend that makes, you know, what 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 you know cap. Yeah, sure. I know here. exactly what you're saying. We're gonna throw the what? oh we we're gonna give you the espresso cap. Oh, all right, good to go. The, the other thing is you don't You like a dirty cup, take the filter out. You we'll didn't we didn't do right a 
inverted method. We did the regular method. Yeah, you don't have to invert because no the inverted. seal prevents it from dripping. Unless you fill it, unless you blow it out with coffee grounds. <laughs> Let's see if coffee grounds stuck in the little valve. Yeah, Mike thought he broke it. I thought that's, I that's exacerbated how, the valve. That's how blown out it was the valve stuck was. Wide open, stuck wide it, open. The like, rubber was not happy. That doesn't look right. No, it was not right. I was like, "What did you do?" I thought, "Man, this thing broke right away." <laughs> and then I look, and it's like, "Oh, you didn't use the filter." You take it off. It's... That might be a problem because it looked weird. I was like, "Why is it stuck open?" Oh, look. Well, that's coffee in it there. It automatically, uh, you know. Discharges the grounds. There's yeah. nothing left. Same time. Nice. Same time. <laughs> Into your cup. That's so convenient. No, it's supposed to be a little chewy. Yeah. A little crunchy. I like that. <laughs> Just crunchies. Put this bean in your mouth. Uh, good stuff. So anyway, more to come on that. You got to play around with it, see what you can get from it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how well that goes. So moving along. <clears throat> what other things do <clears throat> you want to review? Have you tried, and if you haven't, that's okay, because I'll yeah. let the people know. Have you let tried the updated Sudden coffee? What's interesting about the Sudden is it's still exactly where it was when you gave it to me two weeks ago. And then as I was going upstairs and, and I was going through my other like coffee, so I wanted one more little frothing pitcher, because I have one up there that's a little bigger than the one that Breville gave me. I wanted to use that to make some hot cocoa this morning for the kids. And as I was emptying it out... Two vials of sudden, the old sudden fell out. And I was like, oh, snap. I guess I didn't drink all that sudden. So, you, no. So, no. All that to say no. Long story short, okay. no. Well, then you'll just have to trust me. Sudden sent us another I freebie, another gift. cannot trust you. That's fine. Well, maybe one day you'll try your own and you can update the people. Um, they sent us a new one that they had called Aunt Bonnie. It was a Kenyan. I thought we tried it on the show. Roasted by Equator. No, we talked about it. We said, hey. Well, why are we talking about it now? We should be tasting it on the show. Because I already drank it. It's all gone. Do you want to go make one? We can pause real quick and then come back. Uh, no, that's okay. Okay. You, uh, unless you want to try it. You still got a cup of coffee going. No, no worries. I think let's just tell them. I, I, I was actually today. pleasantly surprised. So I think you should try it. It was better. I enjoyed the uh, Kenyan roasted by Equator more than I did the uh, previous blend we got. Yeah. It, it was a little, I could taste, see what I thought was different. It's still, to me, it's a uh, instant coffee. Still has that little bit of chalkiness and a little bit of that instant characteristic. However, yeah. I could taste a single origin and I thought that was cool. So I consider that kind of a win. A win. Mm -hmm. Where I struggle with it a little bit, and we've chatted about this, is who does it appeal to? Because it's, it's roughly two bucks a cup. Yeah, and the people that drink instant, they come through my line. I just talked to a lady last night because yep. I was working a few extra a hours. And I hit her up about the instant. She's like, are we, are we serious about this? Is this what we're doing? We're taking this instant? Is this what we're drinking? We're going there? Okay. And she's like, oh, my husband, he loves it. It's all they he'll do. drink. They it's love all he'll that, drink. that taste. And they love the taste of the instant. And you can get... Big batches Buckets. for two bucks. You get a big, a, a jar. You get a whole jar for two bucks. You do. You get a lot. And there and I are, think that's part of the appeal. There's just, there's different themes. Like you can find, you could, like we have um Hispanic food section. Mm -hmm. There is special instant, instant yeah. Hispanic version, whatever sure. flavor. It's just different brands, different things. But it's different things but, people grew up with. But none of it. None of it is specialty in $2 a cup. No. So to me, I see there's kind of two classes, right? You have those people that already enjoy instant coffee. And they already, you know, the characteristics, the properties that they like about it are that it's cheap. And they like that flavor. And that's not something that the specialty community is searching after. No. We want to minimize that instant flavor, that distinct instant flavor, as much as possible. Yeah. And then on the other spectrum, you have those that are sold out to specialty coffee that love single origins, that love making single cups. Yeah. They're like, oh, part of the routine. California is growing coffee and Blue Bottle is selling it for $65 an ounce. That's crazy. Eh? I'm on it. Yeah. For 100 grams. That's nuts. But I don't think it's necessarily going to appeal to them either. Because it doesn't have a strong enough single origin taste. Yeah. It still has that instant taste. It kind of falls in the middle of these two worlds. Yeah. And so are there people that that would appeal to? Now, the one thing I did find it uh, that I liked it for is sometimes I just want a quick cup for the caffeine. And I'd rather drink 
a natural product like coffee than some of, you know, for example, a, a pre-workout where there's some chemicals or there's yeah. some other elements going on that you don't know what, or maybe you don't like all the stuff that's in a pre-work or maybe yeah. pre-work is just too expensive. Yeah. I'm just wondering like if is sudden, I mean, no, it's not that much faster than it is fast. Yeah. But if you have hot water on tap, which, okay. If you boom. don't, but if you don't have hot water on tap, I can make espresso faster. Well, sure. But not many of an espresso. Machine. Just a cup of yeah. coffee. Just Apple a regular staples. cup of coffee. Yeah. I think it's not, no, it's not immensely faster, but there's no waste. I mean, there's no f- yeah. wet filter, wet grounds to deal with. Yeah. If you have hot water, pour it in, stir it, you're done. I would think that to me, it is people that are leaving, going on vacation, going yeah. camping, traveling, sure. something along those lines. And they want, they'll take something. They don't want to drink garbage because I would say the sudden is, I like it better than Starbucks. Sure, I would you, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when we were in Vegas, we we stayed at the Rio Hotel. Rio. And they had one of the a Starbucks booth yeah. there that you had to pass line through. Line out the door. With a line out the door. We of course we brought, you know, bags and bags of stuff. We brought like with the several different hand grinders. We brought third three different water, types of coffee. Of water. We brought d- distilled yeah. water, third wave packets. We brought the we Bonavita cattle. We brought Walmart we products. brought an Aeropress. We brought a V60. We brought all kinds of stuff. The uh, French press. But we could have just grabbed a sudden. Just grabbed a sudden. Totally. I mean, grab some hot water. Where do you get the hot water from in the hotel? I don't know. But if you're out camping, you can just heat it up. Yeah, that's usually not too hard. I mean, you can even use a coffee pot and just run water through it. Yeah, And then that's you have true. your hot water. That's true. And they all, they have those little individual coffee uh, makers in mm-hmm. most hotels. Yeah. Those little single batch. So you could just the, throw some hot water in there. You could even put throw the, the sudden in. Exactly. Bada boom, bada bing. So it has appeal. What I didn't like about the sudden that I did try is it does not pair well with cream and sugar. Mm. Like it's, it's now that's good for specialty coffee drinkers or it's kind of third wave. Yeah, hey, I want a little lighter. I want for. a little fruiter. I sure. want some floral flavors, but n- I, I would like to have the option. Like if we had a King cup or a saguaro type selection for instant coffee, mm-hmm. Hey, this is going to give you a little more traditional instant flavor. This is going to give you a little more modern third wave flavor yeah i think that sudden would do well to have that option have categories one thing because if you like instant coffee yeah but you want to up your coffee sure. game a little bit yeah maybe you do spend two bucks a cup and get maybe you it's some not your sudden. daily drinker but it's your weekend it's your your saturday morning drinker. just saying i could see i could possibly see some instant uh, sure drinkers up in their game and and grabbing some sudden absolutely yeah i would agree with you i think the one thing that i was also deterred by um, just with ordering sudden is you have to do subscription. You can't just go on there and buy a case or a sample set, at least not that I could find or currently when yeah. I last looked. On top of that, even when you do the subscription, it's what they kind of just send you a, a cycle of whatever they've got going. Yeah, that's whack. So, See, that's about you. That's not about me. Like you're saying, you can't say, I want more traditional flavors. I want more Kenyan single origin flavors. You can't yeah. really choose. They kind of probably just rotate with seasonal offerings and don't really have categories it would be better it'd be like hey just send yeah so they have one cup custom orders non-subscription oh they do now that's sold out now they have 48 cup one-offs they've got a case for four and hey i'm not gonna i'm not trying to take i'm not trying to take it take risk what do you take credit for everything but i am Taking credit for all these coffee companies up in their packaging game. Good on you. I'm not mad. That looks cool. I'm not jealous. I am applauding you. Sudden has up there. That is beautiful. They have a box, a nice box. It looks like Pack Lane or somebody else. It looks like a cigar box. It looks like a cigar box. That's what it looks like. And it's got 48 of them in there. Big ups to you, Sudden. That is beautiful. You know who else? Up their box game for gift boxes, bright red, beautiful box. Press coffee. Mm-hmm. Go get you a gift set right now. I'm just telling you. Up your box game. Manny, I, I, I see you shaking your head while you're driving around. Quit shaking your head and up your box game. Uh, I'm just telling you. This is the way that you impact people through mail order. 
So they've got some more on here since we last looked. I'm yeah. glad you pulled this up. Yeah, two cup subscription. They got a starter for six bucks. Starter. Those yeah. these are all subscri- so they have different subscription orders as well now. In addition to you can get 48 for 120 yeah, bucks. 120 bucks. They got family. Here you go. Sudden Coffee Club. Eight yeah. cups. Yeah. I'm kind of confused by all these offerings. Yeah, it's a little too much. There's huh? six pages. It's of, a little too much. Yeah. Why is my wife texting you? Oh. No, this is your phone. Oh, oh, okay. We're good. Okay, my wife is texting me on my phone, but you're holding it. Yeah. Okay, there I'm we go. I'm trying not to read it. It's kind of embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? Oh, that is embarrassing. Yeah, it says your medicine's ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyway, so they've got more options out there than we last looked. Looks like you can do a trial two cup subscription for six bucks. So you don't have to commit too much to give it a go. But what's interesting That's is three bucks a cup. I entered into I know it is a dialogue over another gentleman who tried it. He um kind of like us. Well, not like can we, us. Can we use names or I should we not? Should we name. give props? Was uh, it on Instagram? Where was it? Facebook? Was he, it email? Yeah, it was on Instagram. I actually can tell you who it is. And I don't think you'd mind. He wanted to have a discussion about it because he had tried to have a discussion in the um, Barista Hustle forums. And yeah. not too many people were yeah. involved. Not we should get him on. And um, so he's like, hey, we need to talk about Sudden because I did a picture post on Instagram. Let's talk Sudden. Sudden. And you said, let's talk about it. Yeah. He just said, I can't get over the uh, chalkiness. He says he just can't get over the chalky. Too chalky. Yeah. And so I was like, I got you. I understand that. I'm, I'm feeling you. Yeah. But. Why I'm bringing him up is because he's like, I forgot to cancel my subscription. So I have another pack of 24 or whatever sitting here. Yeah. And so that's kind of the negative of subscription trials. Even if it's a, if it's a trial, but you have to um, remember to cancel. Yeah. You might end up with another two. That's how we got sudden in the first place, wasn't it? Well, somebody ordered some and, and then like, they hey, sent it to us. Yeah. I haven't drank last month. Here's this month. Yeah. It was a gifted to us by, by Jan, wasn't it? Or who was it? I can't remember yeah. now. I'm sorry. Forgive me. That is so horrible of me not to remember. Like Nick or something. Somebody gifted us that one. They did. And did, and Sudden gifted us this last one? This last Sudden batch? reached out after we did the initial review. And oh, said, hey, we want you okay. to try this new SO, Single Origin. We got Was it going. a video review? Well, I mean, they're all videos because oh, we got the podcast we recorded going. Oh, okay. Okay. But we it was the do... podcast. Yeah. We just oh, chatted okay. about it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it was Sean. So people actually watch those? Uh, Yeah. Some somebody's watching our videos. Somebody's watching them. Oh, huh. yeah. Our subscription That's, count is slowly growing. That is growing. shocking, but okay. It might end up taking over. Yeah, who yeah, knows? It was Sean. I don't know if Sean, we need to thank you, Sean. do a full shot. I don't know if he wants to be on blast or not, but well, it's not blasting him. It's, it's promoting him. We're just going to say Sean. We'll leave it yeah. at that. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. So now if, they're going to go to our Instagram. They're going to find out who's over there. Sean yeah, talking if, about. If they Sun. really want to dig that deep. I'm sure they don't mind. But yeah. he has a lot of posts about specialty coffee stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure he wouldn't mind to follow. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should. Uh, should we put him out there? Uh, you know. Let me see real quick. Read something from them. Read something. Well, he says here, and so I would say this is yes. He says, feel free to check out the rest of my ID for some nerdy coffee stuff. Oh, so perfect. Oh, then we I can think, definitely. We yeah. can definitely give him a shout out. So with respect, uh, Sean Thacker. T-H-A-C-K-E-R. Okay, you got to spell the Sean as well. because S-H-A-W-N. Thank there you, you very much. T-H-A-C-K-E-R. So his At IG Sean handle. Sean Thacker. Yeah, one word. Sean Thacker. Yeah, so he's got right. some cool stuff on All there. Right. Yeah, he does have a lot of cool stuff on there. Good pictures. But yeah, we chatted for, you know, a good 20 minutes or so about um, this uh, sudden. This sudden. Suddenly. He just thought it was a little rich, too. A little rich. He said, he's try- yeah, it's too murky for me to enjoy. I tried it at different ratios, as low as 75 mils, and the flavors were better, but it was still chalky. Yeah. I forgot to cancel my subscription. Ended up paying 20 bucks for eight tubes and a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice that Sutton throws a little something else in there. Oh, it is I think cool. they acknowledge the fact that they are not cheap and they try to price Up high and justify. Well, they got nice they packaging. Try. The vials are cool. They try to do that. Like you pay premium price, but you get premium service, it seems. You know what I mean? Uh, is that somebody ooh, else? Who's ooh, no, I'm distracted now. Who's got the Ilio? Ooh, Who Sweet is Maria's is making a post on the bullet. Sweet Maria's is I wonder, bringing the, I, the, the Ilio Bullet R1. Yeah, but our Ilio Bullet R1 is better because we've had it longer and we have sweeter pictures of it. But, I'm excited that they're going to sell But shout it, out though. to Sweet Maria's. Yeah. You know what I was thinking, though? Maybe Sorry. we can talk about it right now. I digress. Here's, the, here's what I was thinking. I found a 3D printer at Amazon as part of like a Black Friday deal, I started looking at 3D printers. I didn't realize they were so affordable. You can get like... They come down in price a lot. You can get like top of the line, 
like eight, six by eight or eight by eight by 12 or eight by eight by 10, something Mm -hmm. where you could, you know, you could print a gun. You could still print a handgun in it, but it was only like 1500 or $2,000. It's not bad. I think, I don't know. And I was like, we should sell those. So what? The, the, oh, the adapter, the adapter. There's so many other adapters that people want for this too. There's many other customizable pieces that we could make. Do it. But I think it's the material that is pricey. It wasn't that pricey. Like you buy the printer the and filament. the ink is like it's not twice ink, as much. It's filament. I understand. I'm just saying it. in comparison, ink is so expensive. Yeah. yeah. But hey, just I'm going to throw this out there. The bullet is now available on Sweet Maria's. They want twenty six fifty six, two thousand six hundred fifty six bucks. What did you pay? And you get a regular you paid more eight than that. pound. It was about right. Oh, okay. Twenty seven. And you get uh, a coffee sampler in Sweet Maria's fashion, like we did with the Bmar. Yeah. They send you eight pounds of green. Very cool. That is Big awesome. Up, Sweet Maria. Yeah, that is cool. So check them out. And uh, if you're interested, it's probably nice now having a stateside vendor. Yeah. Didn't that sound cool? Stateside. That is, it sounded very pro. Very pro. <laughs> you actually sound like a coffee professional. Oh, I know better. Big but ups. You sound like it. Is that what they say? That's exactly that what, what they say. say. That's exactly what the kids are saying. I love these ice spears from Wintersmith. Mm, I, I can hardly wait summer. until I get my Phantom. I know. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Wait. So sudden? Yeah, that was the update. Yeah, sudden. Uh, give us a quick update. We're almost out of time. On, yes. On busy. What's up with the busy street? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. What was a quick summary, right? Well, quick summary was this. I tried to buy busy. They were out of busy, even though they promised they had busy. I canceled my order and busy apologized and refunded. Months later, busy reached out to me and says, hey, thank you for the video on the busy because somebody sent us a busy. (laughs) They said, hey, I saw that you didn't get your busy, but I bought some busy. I want to send you busy. So I took the busy, thanked the busy, reviewed the busy. They reached out. Six months ago and said, hey, I want to send you some vanilla and caramel busy to go with your regular busy. I said, perfect. Sling it. it. Never showed up. I think what happened in between the promise and the shipping was they found they did a little research, listened to Mm. our busy episode where we put busy on blast for their horrible customer service and said, I'm not going to send this idiot anything. It's the only thing that I can think of. Or they just dropped the ball again and... It shows you that busy is garbage as far as maybe, their customer service goes. Maybe, just maybe, maybe they are a little too what busy. busy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice one, Mikey. Uh, too um, good, too good. No, it's funny because they totally could have had a redeeming themselves moment. Totally could have redeemed yourself, totally but no, could have redeemed but you yourself. did not. You did not. Busy goes back into the the garbage heap of. Coffee. We don't recommend. We Even do not if recommend the shots busy. are appealing for a busy lifestyle and something yeah. you like, yeah, go sudden um, instead. Exactly. Something sudden it up. So you can, I, you know, sudden can go with cold too. Yeah, absolutely. And you can rub it under your eyelids when you're, you know, rub it in your eyes when you're tired. You heard it here first. Boom. No, that's that's oh. old school. That's old school. You heard it here again, <laughs> probably for the first time, because I don't think anyone's <laughs> rubbing coffee grounds. Oh, those those who have infantry experience, military experience, no. That's perfect. The old sudden. trick. The old you trick. You need a sudden pick-me-up. They have a little commercial, them rubbing it in their eyes. On their eyes. Yeah, that's what we used to do with uh, Taster's Choice. Take one Folgers, gram. Folgers, that instant coffee that would come in MREs. So you get tired and you just... Rub directly ah! on the retina. <laughs> Ready to go. <gowl. laughs> This is the uh, retina Ready blend. Ready to go. This will oh, get you so going. horrible. Get so you horrible. Going. All right. Well, that's that's it. Hey, nope, real quick. Nope. Breville. Breville. Yeah. Oh, we want to do a quick... I, yeah, just a little bit. A little bit of an update. Okay. Because I am trying to, of course, lock in mocha oh, recipes. What Breville are we talking about? The Breville espresso Three, machine. Oh, okay. Not not the 1901 batch No, brewer. that's actually a Bonavita. That's right. That's Dag right. Dag Dag but they do have a brewer. Not that I know of. Not that we're going to talk about right now. No, we're but they talk do about remember it was 300 bucks. Oh, probably worth every penny. Big shout outs to Breville. Breville. I really want to reach out to Breville and see if they want to sponsor the show. Okay. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yeah. If you're a Breville rep and you have connections at Breville, Hit us just up. say, hey, Breville, these guys likes your products. They likes the Breville's. <laughs> they likes the Breville's. They likes the Breville's. And they will talk... Um, <laughs> You know, willfully, it ignorantly. rubs the coffee on its skin, <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. What? Yeah. Um, so the Breville, I switched up my chocolate syrups. 
And this is what I wanted to tell you because you asked me, you said, hey, is this a powder? After I made you your mocha today, how was the mocha first? Was I it- liked it. I enjoyed it. I liked it better than the Hershey's syrup you've been yes. using. Yes, yes. So I've been putting Monin in. And while I was over at Corvus Distributing, okay. hollering at my girl, Mandy, whose husband's name is also Jacob. How cool is that? That's amazing. That is so cool. Quit playing with the mic cord, Mike. Oh, you need so a wireless mic. while I'm there, I, I start asking about the different chocolates because she, she has Ghirardelli. Of course, they distribute everything, right? They've got nice. a bunch of different ones. And I ask, and I saw the Monin, and that's the one I wanted because Press uses the dark mm. chocolate Monin. Yeah, whatever Press does, we're going to do. Whatever Press does, we do. So <laughs> I wanted to at least try it. And she said that it is it dissolves easier than the other syrups. Oh, really? So she says that's why a lot of coffee shops like it because it's a little, it's a little runnier. The solubility. A little, a little, a little, yes, it's a little more soluble. soluble. When you get it in there, you it takes less stirring, and so there's less sitting at the bottom. There was none at the bottom. There's none at the bottom. There wasn't. It dissolves but, yeah. evenly There's throughout. a few fine um, grinds of coffee that I saw, and I thought maybe that was the powder. So it is consistent, one pup, is 20 grand. One pump. I thought you one said pump. pump. Rawr, one pump. Rawr. One pump is 20 grams. I was putting 28 grams, one ounce of Hershey's into each coffee. So I upped oh. it to 28. And so I think it might be a little much for the dark chocolate. I think maybe just one pump, 20 grams is is where it's at. I'm going to try that next. So For a 10 ounce? You're doing about a 10 Well, ounce this is what I do. I, wanted, I try to do two ounces of coffee, but... That's 56 grams, mm-hmm. and I normally end up at about 50, so just short of two ounces. And then the coffee makes a third ounce, and then I put six ounces of steamed milk, which makes – but I measure it before I steam it. So it takes on a little bit of volume. The, the so chocolate it, makes So it ends ounce. up nine ounces total. Nine ounces. Okay, so you got – Nine it. ounces. Gotcha. So two for the coffee, one for the syrup, and the rest is – Six. Six for the milk. Gotcha. That's where I'm at right now. So I'm thinking about maybe going a little less, but I think you could a little less what? Chocolate syrup. I say if you kept the chocolate syrup and you just went a little more milk, then you would be at a ten ounce. Yeah, maybe but maybe that then, would cut the ratio. Yeah, but then it doesn't taste coffee enough. Mm. But remember with the Breville, I'm I'm at a forty fifty four millimeter. So I'm normally about sixteen, fifteen to sixteen grams of coffee. Mm-hmm. Instead of maybe, I don't know yeah. what a 58 So your double is going to be a little filter. less than yeah. a commercial setup. Yeah. It's going to be a little you. less. So it's okay if the uh, end result is a little less. Is a little less. If nine ounces instead of ten. Yeah. I don't know. Something. Well, I think that's it, right? It's letting what tastes best, the coffee, the recipe, dictate what it should be. That's it. I mean, if you could scale it, sure. But you really can't. You're limited. So you're starting with your limited factor, which is how much good espresso can I get? Right, yep. and then let's just add to that and and get the nice ratio. Yeah, sure, we could add more milk, but then it's going to then you cut yeah like chocolate milk. You want to taste the coffee. Yeah, you want the, the chocolate and the milk to complement the coffee. Exactly. Even you just want the right ratio for any drink. Like I was making hot cocoa for the kids this morning. Hot cocoa. I didn't just fill the mug up with milk. I said no. What? I'm going to go six ounces of 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 milk. You know, I'm going to M- milk. Yeah, m- m- milk. milk. I'm not going to go just eight milk. I'm going to go. I'm going to use a recipe and then adjust from there. That's how you replicate it. That's how you replicate it. So cool. Good update. So still dialing that in, but Monin was great. Um, Over at Corvus Distributing was great. I also bought another little shot glass that lets you, the mouth is wide enough for both coffee streams to flow into. But I don't like, I like brewing directly into whatever serving vessel I'm using. Mm -hmm. That's what I prefer to do. Probably keeps it hotter instead of transferring too much. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't know either. But that's the show, folks. Is that it? That's that's all I got. Okay. But we have to do something real quick. And yeah. I'll um, do some editing for the other video. We yeah. we got to – let's just sign off this. Let's, so let's go back. Sign off like we're done. Oh, oh, on the hand ground. Yeah. So, then so you that can go in I can and edit splice it. that and have just a – Perfect. Video. I'm not going to edit it out of the – no, no, no. Like Leave that. it. This is this is good yeah, to go. This is good to go. So, because we're trying to, because one of the things for hand ground, we wanted to give them, the, uh, you know, a good, honest video review. Yeah. Just so if people also want to just catch the review of the hand ground, they don't have to listen to us the whole on thing. about everything else. So what are we going to do? So we're going to say, 
So that's our review of the hand ground. Hand ground, thank you so much for sending this. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to know more, I probably will continue to use it um, just because I still think it's cool. Uh, and, and if you want to, any updates or curious about more, then let us know. <laughs> hand ground? So good. I know, it's perfect. It's perfect. Thank Shake. you, hand ground. <laughs> That, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that is so good. I don't know. Did I forget something? I think we should have like a little jingle. Like, and you and here's jingle. hand ground. <laughs> I don't know. Something. I don't know either. But I, we are very appreciative that they sent us for a review. Absolutely. And um, hope it just that shows they... that they're committed to their product. They're confident in it. They're like, yeah, check it out. Take it. Try it. Exactly. Sling it. So I think um, they're a company that's going to continue to improve. And hopefully they take feedback from us and the like seriously. And We'll see the hand ground too. Hand grounded. Yeah. Hand grind. Hand grounded. You're hand grounded. <laughs> oh, that was even better. So, signing off. Good day. Here's gonna... Mikey. <laughs> oh, no? Is that it? We're done? We're done. We're done indeed. Thank you so much for listening. As always, you can check the show notes at orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash episode 97. And you can get the links to everything that we talked about. The hand ground, hand grinder, the Prismo by Fellow, Sudden Coffee. No links to Busy, but, you know, whatever. That's how we do it. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>